Wouldn't it be great if we could use a spreadsheet uh, to handle mole mass calculations for us? Well, that's exactly what we're going to do. You can do as I've done here and open a blank sheet, or uh, actually I'm going to load a, a template for you in Google Classroom. This is what a blank spreadsheet looks like, though, from Google Sheets. Uh, I'm just You can have a look at some of the features. So this is where you name the file. Um, names the document, saves it automatically for you. That little gray folder icon, you can move it to different parts of your Google Drive. Okay, when you go to actually do this assignment, enter your directions in cell A1. Later on, I'll show you how to expand that cell and wrap the text around so it looks nice. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter all of my, uh, my headings where I want everything to go here. Um, you can model yours as you like. Um, but basically what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to give you a series of compounds. You're going to find the molar masses and then you're going to build a calculator so that given any mass, so if I'd say 10 grams of something, it'll automatically calculate moles and molecules of the substance. Alright, so you can see here what I'm doing is I'm formatting the spreadsheet. I want there to be a little bit more room so I can expand these cells, or the, sorry, the columns. Alright, you can use the text wrap function you just saw there to actually keep all the text from overflowing from cell to cell. Alright, so when you get the file from me, you're going to basically get two, uh, you're going to see two columns. You're going to be, one says formula, one says molar mass. You're going to have 12 formulas in your formula column, and you'll have no molar masses. You're going to have to find the molar mass or calculate the molar mass yourself for each of them, as I'm doing here. Okay. So I'm going to have my 10 compounds, and then I'm going to actually enter the molar masses. So you do that just like as we've been uh, doing before, right? Add up the mass of each of the elements, right? So ammonia, for example, there's one nitrogen, three hydrogens, has a mass 17.04 grams per mole. Finish the rest of them off. All right, use a calculator where you need it. Okay. Now, I want to make these 10 compounds in a list, and I want a, a drop-down menu. If you ever need help, there's a great help menu uh, for Google Docs. I can just I said, see I typed creating a drop-down list. showed me how to do it. Follow as I do. You're going to need the data validation function. List from range. Here's the list. I hit OK. All right. See how a little arrow appears there? These are my, now my choices. Cell A6 is now a drop-down list. Okay, so actually I forgot to do something here, so I'm going to insert an additional column. All right, I, I, I have the mass here, but that's the, the value that I would input. So if I said, uh, you know, 15.2 uh, grams or something. All right, I'm, I'm going to move that over to column C, and I'm going to make column B the molar mass. So this would be the molar mass as indicated. Uh, currently in column I on your screen, so those molar masses, the substances that we worked out. Okay, bold the text, wrap the text. Okay, all this formatting. Don't forget, hey, you can always pause these videos, slow down, go back. Right, it may be helpful to watch this on your phone and work on it at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to introduce you to a command called VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP finds or matches values from two columns in a table. Alright, so I'm going to, the syntax is, I'm going to say VLOOKUP brackets A6, that says go find this value in A6, look for it in the table of values as given by H16 to I15, return the value in the second column, so this is I, and this false command has to be in there because the data is unsorted. Alright, so yours will appear like that, just adjusting for your uh, columns and rows as necessary. So now watch what happens. Sorry, I should say, watch what happens here. Uh, I'm going to enter some formulas. So if I have a mass, for example, that would appear in column C, all right, how do I find moles? Well, we know that. You're going to divide uh, whatever mass in grams given to you by molar mass. So molar mass is what we're going to set up to appear in cell B6. So C6 divided by B6. All right, now to calculate molecules, what are we going to do? All right, I could go from grams to moles molecules, but I already have molecules that's appeared in C6, so I'm going to take, uh, or should I appeared in D6, so I'm going to take D6 and divide it by Avogadro's number. Alright, now watch how the calculator works. Pick one of the substances, notice the molar mass appears there, provide a value, 
all of a sudden moles and molecules appear in uh, cells D and E6. All right, mess around with it. Try for any of the substances shown. Okay, enter your directions for how to use your calculator. All right, so mine are going to be uh, you know, enter the uh, enter the desired mass in uh, cell C6, and moles and molecules will appear in D6 and E6. All right, you can format yours the way you like. So see, here's my merge command. So now I just turned that into one big cell. Text wrapping. All of a sudden, now all my directions appear nice and uh, and neat together. All right. So you uh, you can test it, this out. All right. See how moles and molecules change depending on the substances because uh, I've given it different uh, molar masses. I would strongly encourage you all to do this uh, individually. You are welcome to do it in partners. Um, I'd like to have this from you uh, by the weekend at some point. This would be uh, this is going to be great practice for a future assignment where you will all have to do this individually.